Oh, good afternoon, everybody. It's Shooter. Hey, what an FOMC report, huh? Oh, my goodness. Hey, please review the disclosures after this presentation. Starting off with the dollar. Well, there you go. You know, all we needed was speaking about rate cuts, not even rate cuts coming. And what did the dollar do? I mean, basically, we just came right off, right around 102. Now, that is a tailwind for indices. Let me transition. I think I've been preaching that. How long have I been preaching that? I've been preaching, preaching, preaching. I got blue in the face a couple times. <laughs> All right, looking at the S&P, nice push, nice push. Maybe 479 on our intermediate wave three, then we come back down a little bit to 473, then we head towards our primary wave three. Right now, looking at the NASDAQ, nice push as well. Right now, clear sailing to 434, looks to me. Now, we got rebalancing Friday, so I wouldn't be surprised if we back test, you know, with that rebalancing because obviously they're going to pull everything away from the leaders, you know, to try and give us some better metrics. So we'll have to see how that actually plays out. But we do get that pullback. It's a good buying opportunity if you don't have a position in, in the queues. All right. Now, the Dow, look at that candle. Okay, I want to go back and say, just, okay, look at the SPY candle, look at the NASDAQ candle, look at the Dow. Yeah, look at that. See that? See that? Yeah, what I tell you? It's, it's going to lead. I told you, because this right here, I told you, I told you. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just see it. Now, the downside is, is this is confirming on the daily. So this is a divergent high at this point. So um, 390, it's totally viable here. Um, we'll have to see how much follow through we get tomorrow and through rebalancing, but you know, I, I think it's completely doable. All right, looking at the Russells, now look at that candle. I want to go back and do that again. I'm going to go back and look at this candle. Look at the breath of that candle. Look at the breath. Ooh, what is that? So we had a high of 194 and a low of 185.67. So, you know, just shy of 10 bucks in the Russell. Yeah. Okay. So SPY candle, NASDAQ candle, Dow candle, Russell's candle. So you see how it's building? That breath that we've been chatting about, Okay, so now we have, because when we get the rate cut, realize that is going to be, the first rate cut will be jet fuel on indices. Now, after that actually gets into play and we find a top, we might turn the other direction, but that's a little bit far out in time. All right, let's take a look at TLT. Um, really no response today. Uh, our intermediate wave four has you know, pushed down a little bit lower here based on the current count. And actually, as I updated it, that's even changed. The intermediate waves have disappeared and we are looking for 105 at this point. But there's still an intermediate wave in there somewhere. It's just not seen. And then our two, you know, one thing that happens with a wave count is it gets this staggered look. I don't ever like that. I like a clean look because it's, it's more consistent with my thinking. But I think we are you know, in a, in a good place. I, I would have liked it if this pushed a little bit on the FOMC meeting. But look at this, the, the buying here, you know, on these weekly candles. Look at this. Look at the volume coming in. You know, it, that's, you know, I don't think the Fed comes in and screws this up, but they could. <laughs> you know, that's sort of my thought. All right. Um, wanted to jump and look at XLF. We're at the breakout line with a target of 42 on our primary wave three. So I think with the shift to rate cuts, you know, this could also be some jet fuel here. Again, I I would have liked to see more of a candle today on the FOMC meeting, but we didn't get that. So, you know, but we do, we are at a breakout. So basically, I think by any dip, you know, maybe sell some 35, 34, or even some 33 puts March, you know, to uh, bring in some premium. And if they get put to you. We've got a great upside count. Ultimately, you know, I think with a one and a half percent rate cut, you know, we're back to 45 to, you know, maybe even that 54 that's up there. Second, third quarter, depending on how quick they do the cuts. I think it really depends on how fast the market slows down. So, well, that's today's market recap, folks. Great trading until next time. Hopefully this was helpful. Please make some comments, like and share if you like this short version or don't like it, you know, so we at least have some feedback, but we appreciate you folks until next time.